What's up guys? Today's video is pretty random. We have Eco Diesel over here with the hood up. We got Asher over here. We're gonna, he's actually right in here. What are you doing over here, Asher? Uh, turning this POS apart. Jeez. So what he's doing is fixing my mess up. Taking the heads off. He's got a phone call, but we'll explain that in a second. So what he's doing is taking the heads off because he was having a ticking noise. But first things first, he's going to answer that phone call. I'm going to go ahead and drain the oil on this. This takes like an hour to drain properly. I have like 5,000 miles. Like I told you guys, I'm going to change the oil every 5,000 miles. Yes, it's way earlier than you probably could get away with. You could probably get away with 10,000 miles or whatever. But we've been doing a lot of like heavy towing with it. So I'm going to drop it early. So I'm going to let that drain while we help Asher. So... I'm gonna hurry up, drop the oil, and uh, get over there with him. All right, so I highly doubt you can see that, but we've got a drain pan under there. That's draining. We've got our filter loose. Now back to Asher's. So he was getting a little bit of a tick. If you guys don't know Asher's truck, I'll link it uh, to some of his. Do you have any runs of, on YouTube? No. No. Just on uh, like TikTok and. Uh... Watch. He'll. I'll, I'll insert the clip of his run here. He'll send it to me. But anyways, back to this. So he was getting a, a tick. So the infamous uh, lifter tick, we believe. Had, uh, I mean, the motor had 50,000 <clears> on it whenever I started modding it and actually racing it. And so it's got almost 60 on now. It's almost 10,000 miles of just abuse. Uh, so he so took off. Yeah. yeah, he took off. The, well, I guess, sorry, well, at least he was telling me. Or I can let him tell his own story. But he was hearing a bunch of tick at the end of the end of the strip and then it would it would tick for a while and then if he just let it idle it would kind of pump back up again after his run and seem to go away but he was losing a mile an hour and i guess yeah, ET. yeah the first pass <clears throat> on the quarter mile it was 1106 at 121 and then every pass after that it just dropped off either a mile an hour or almost a, a hundredth of a second uh, and the very last pass that i had on this before i started tearing it apart it was uh 11 20 at like 117 miles an hour i mean it dropped off tremendously but and that was in better weather and da and stuff oh yeah it's still it was almost zero da i mean da doesn't really affect boosted as much as na would but it still should have ran yeah it's a 10 10 9 plus or 11 plus well i mean the colder weather would have helped too with like heat soak on your intercooler at least right yeah i mean or you were just, letting it cool down but yeah end of the day he popped off the valve covers didn't see any broken springs or anything like that so we're just thinking it's just a dead lifter or that everybody's still in argument over whether it's a lifter or a cam issue which one's actually failing or which one's the chicken or the egg but yeah no more factory sealed but i'm i'm still that's that's the other thing he was talking about what setup to go with whether he was gonna be this deep into it to start <laughs> making things better or to try to you know try to go for that factory record factory sealed record yeah no more factory sealed but i probably most likely am gonna throw stock uh components back in and try to at least get a nine or get a 10 out of it we'll find out all in this video you'll know what the issue is in about an hour so <laughs> <laughs> we'll see in a minute here so he's got the head bolts off i'm gonna put the camera down in a second because we're about to lift this out or he's about to pass to me since he's standing in the engine bay and we'll get this thing off it's about to be a coolant shower and there she goes Look at that. Asher's got that nice little diaper set up down there. <laughs> There's one thing that I am um, proficient. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so the head's off. Now we'll take the lifters out. There's an 8 mil retaining bolt. Okay, so we got both heads off. Here's the lifters on the passenger side. Some of the contact patch looks a little bit wider than others, like that one. And you can see some of them are a little bit skinny, but then this one looks really wide. So we'll see what Jason says. I think he's supposed to get here in a minute. But both heads are off. We're gonna take out the other lifters and then uh, we'll see what's up. This Asher's first cam. 
that your first time taking that out? Yes, sir. Damn, son. <sighs> it's brand new. Put it back in. Put it in backwards. <laughs> <laughs> More lift. <laughs> It's not terrible though, right? Not as bad as we've seen or I've seen before. It's probably just one of the lifters is starting to go bad though, right? But it hasn't yeah, fully failed. Like oh yeah, Jason's here. Hey you haven't <laughs> you haven't seen him yet on this video. Put it back in, put some new lifters and send it. I mean yeah, you really couldn't. I think we're just gonna put a bunch of used stuff back in. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go too fast with a bunch of used stuff you Man, put it back dude, in. Dude, it's it's loose, it's sloppy, there's less resistance, it's just so fast. You still talking about the truck? <laughs> <laughs> Is there even a point in putting a new one in there? I just, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. When it, when it, Is it that bad though? Right here at the top of the lobes. Is it chunked down right a little bit? Where it starts to, uh, see it starting to haze up a little bit. That's the surface of the cam starting to flake off. Well, there's that when one's it does that, started. it gets down to the cam. Oh yeah, that one's a little nasty. Was that the one that we... The one that was flat, you think? Which cylinder would that be? Which one would that be, Jason? That one was this oh, one right here. Is, th here. is this one that From one? From the front. Yeah, look at the nicking on that one compared to that right there. Yeah, that's that little score. All right, new cam going in. All right, this is the baby cam, as people call it. Oh, she's a little loose there, Jason. Oh, <laughs> like a, like a down the hallway. Well, yeah, th this is this is the baby cam people are talking about. Is this the low lift boost cam. This is a, <laughs> yeah, low quarter, quarter inch. <laughs> Don't let her go. That's, that's perfect, man. It's like a hot dog down a hallway kind God of thing. God, we only run in half cylinders. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thought we had a cam, but ooh, it wasn't the one we thought it was. It was a, a small cam in a big box. That's what that's what it's supposed to look like, but uh, <laughs> she's brand new, but she wrong. Look at that thing. That looks cheap. It really does, man. I mean, uh, the only application that these are good in is over there. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be worried about my truck. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, all right, well, we're at a standstill. All right, so, I'll get you guys up to speed. We put a stock cam in there, not the little baby one that you saw Jason playing with, but he had a brand new stock one, and then Jason influenced Asher in a good, bad way. Yeah. Now, yeah, now what are we doing? Just thinking of my life. Are we allowed to say what's going on now? No. I mean, it's, it's a secret. I, I just, I had it's some, a secret. I just had some, some random cam laying over there on the shelf. I said, hey, Asher, let's we'll stick this in yeah. there. He said, okay. So we're, we're going to stick that in there and see what happens. So he's got a bigger can with bigger humps on it. Lovely lady lumps. Yeah. They're, the, the humps are a little swole on the one that he wants to put in. He's <laughs> got some injections. But yeah, they're gonna put that in. I don't know, I'll follow up with you guys. We're not finishing it today, so. That'll be a wrap for this video. It is freaking freezing out here in Texas. These guys are used to it. Look at it, even, he's got smoke coming off him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was his breath that said cigarette. It's freezing in Texas, it's like 55 degrees, and this is the first time John's ever heard the Eco Diesel idle up. So. Yeah, I've never <laughs> heard it. Yeah, it's screaming, man. He's just, nah, 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 nah. It's like frozen. Yeah, so. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here. I gotta go to that car show thing in the morning, so I'm gonna get moving. But uh, I think I might come back tomorrow after the car show. Come on. Or actually, I can't even film that. Mm. What? You said it's a secret. What car? I'm not, I'm I can't, go to the car show. No, I can't film helping you with your thing. Oh, yeah. I can't film the thing yeah, with the, the, thing. the thing. I'll find yeah. something to film. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I'll film the floor or something. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, I'll let, maybe, maybe we can film the, the other build that's about to happen. All right, maybe I'll film something. Either way, we got some stuff for you tomorrow. Let's call that Project Sawzall. Is it? <laughs> Sawzall. If you guys haven't, go on High Performance Rams on uh, Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. I'll link it. You guys probably already know it, though. You can check out some of his builds. Follow along with his builds. And I'll update you guys on that. So that's it. Thumbs up. See you in the next video.